All right, we're gonna do this a little different this time, where instead of writing things down one by one, uh, I'm just gonna have it written, and you guys can can take notes as well. And we're just gonna talk about it. So we're gonna talk about building a team. We're gonna talk about the roles characters play. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the point character. The point character is the character that you want to ideally get you started. You know, you land the first hit, you get your game going. This is the most important character you pick on the team because the mid and anchor are always interchangeable where the point character always has to play the initial game. So uh, some of the things that the point character wants to have and you don't have to have all of these, you usually want to have two to three is mix up. You want to be able to open up your opponent when you make them block, really important. Whether it be solo mix up or mix up with an assist, it doesn't matter because ideally you would use one assist to get in, one assist to mix, etc. Second is meter build. Meter is super super important in Dragon Ball Fighters. So if you build meter really really quickly, then you just have more options than your opponent. It makes two touching a lot easier, makes mixing a lot easier, makes hit confirming a lot easier because you can use vanish now. It's super important that you build a lot of meter. So if your team is a team that does a lot of damage, if they have a lot of meter, you usually want to pick a character that can actually build meter, you know. Next point is strong neutral. Um, most people go this route. You want the character to be able to control the pace of the match the best. And having a strong neutral game really helps with this. High damage output. This is like mostly for me. I love hitting people and chunking their health bar. But one of the main things you want to do as a point character is you either want to kill the opponent as fast as possible or you want them to burn their spark as fast as possible. Because if you make them burn their spark before you spark uh, yourself, chances are you have a good chance of winning, especially if you survive that spark. So I really value high damage output. The last thing is your ability to tag out. You want to be able to get your characters in and out safely and there's a lot of ways to do this with assists, but there are some point characters that actually excel at doing this. So now let's talk about a few characters that actually do do these things. First example being Ting Gohan. So Ting Gohan builds a lot of meter, has high damage, and he has mix up. So let's just look at the character real quick. So this is a Ting Gohan BNB. You will usually use an assist to do this. But he can also do this by himself. And as you can see, this build over two bars caused a sliding knockdown and did 37%. And this is one of his easiest combos too. He can even do this combo alone, which I will show you now. Corner to corner, doesn't matter. So good. So Team Gohan is really good at building meter. This means that if he hits you again, he's going to build damage meter again, most likely, and then just level 1 to level 3 you and you will die. Um, he's really, really good at this. And if you land a hit, but things don't go your way, the next character will come in with so much bar that the hope is that that character will be able to come back with the resources you built with Team Gohan. Let's uh, just look at his mix-up real quick. Won't go too in-depth, but if you do... Uh, M or H legs into assist, you can go high and you can go low. And if they get hit by that, they get exploded. So you build even more meter by yourself in the corner. And this mix up works mid screen too. But if you land a hit, chances are you're going to do this in the corner. Um, either way, really, really good reward for landing a hit. His damage output is super high, especially for the meter he builds. So he is, in my opinion, a perfect point character. Doesn't have the strongest neutral game in the world, but you can't have everything, right? Unless... Anyways, next character we're going to talk about is Jiren. Jiren's really interesting. So people will say this character is bad, and I agree, except when he's on point. When Jiren's on point, he is super cool. He has a lot of good things going for him. So his damage output is high, and that's because his 2L is a medium starter. And this is his primary footsie tool. It's minus two on block, which means it's like really good for staggers. 
builds decent meter, but I don't know his combo, so he probably builds more meter than this. Uh, good corner to corner, an amazing air fireball. He can really control the pace of the match with these fireballs. Um, his J2S, also really good. And fun fact about his J2S. Pretty cool, right? You can reflect, but... Check this out. It jails. You can't 2H. And you can do that from pretty far, too. There are even some ranges where you even counter hit them for trying to 2H you. But I won't go into that. I'm not going to try to find that right now. So, he has really, really strong neutral. Really good damage output thanks to this medium starter. And even when he doesn't do high damage from the medium starter, he has really good corner to corner. But the best thing about him is his ability to get characters in and out. So because this gels, this actually also gels. So I'll set him to attack again. Ah, I got the counter hit I was talking about. You see that? That's so good. So he has the ability to unblock, get in and out, which is super underrated. This means that sometimes he could do, even do stuff like this. Alright, that's super, super cool, I think. And then if he actually does hit you... So let's say, for example... I don't want Jiren anymore. And then you go for the knockdown there. Uh, he can get in the character that actually does have the mix-up, and then that character, that character, sorry, uh, can play, and then his job is done. So I think he's a really cool point character. Really, really cool point character. Uh, Kid Buu is an obvious example. High damage output, I don't really know about that. He is an inconsistent two-toucher. He is, like, pretty good at... 3 touching, but 2 touching requires uh, like a 2M starter first. He'll usually get a 2M starter though. I, I want to say more than anything, um, it's more like he only does these two things, but he does them super well. So this is more like strong, oh my god, neutral, mix. You know what I mean? Th this is this is more his style. So everyone's watched Kid Buu. We already know what he does, but he has insane neutral. Um, well, more like he has insane footsie tools. This button is absolutely crazy. Uh, his key blast game, like with assist, like two S plus assist, is super good. His movement in the air, like this button, like stalls him, so he can really, really move around and be annoying. He's small, which helps. That's always a good thing. And he is, as far as I know, the only character who can get a solo mix-up from all the way up here. As long as he has his double jump, he can jump, threaten this, and then go for the high-low. As well as doing that in block strings. So he's kind of like extreme at doing these two things. He is really, really good at it. This is why a lot of people play in point, because he excels at doing these things so these are just some examples there are more but I want to move on so let's talk about mid characters so the mid characters usually have uh, assist for mix up neutral or combo extensions um, you'll see players play Kid Buu mid for his gumball assist so they can get 50-50s or an assist like Vegito's or Piccolo's orbs attacks which control like a huge chunk of the screen real quickly or they control like the pace of the neutral game because of just the properties of the assist or they're good for combo extensions which means you can use them for other things but they are good for just making your combos consistent or extending them this is like the base Goku A assist um, as long as you know how to time it good corner carry, good combo extensions or the Jiren A assist for example uh, the mid character ideally has level 2s, but they don't have to have them. They do, however, uh, do best when they can spend a lot of resources. So strong EX moves, um, good level 2s, or just level 2s in general, uh, combo extensions using meter, all important for the mid character. 
Post level 3 mix is also really good for the mid. If the point character does their job, so let's say for example the point character is Team Gohan and he builds a lot of meter, chances are on the second hit, he's either going to kill you or the next hit after that is going to kill you. So you want a character that's mid with a post level 3 mix so you can bring them in to get that mix up that'll kill the opponent. Um, good examples of this are like Z Broly and Android 21 or Android 18. Uh, all of those three characters are good examples of this. The last one is mix up, just basic mix up. Have a 2 0 low so you can enable super dash plus assist high lows if you hit them and put them in the corner, or have a command grab. You cannot go wrong with a command grab. We all know about Kid Buu. I don't really want to show this, but his assist is for mix up. You put him mid because his assist gives you like a guaranteed 50 50. You love that shit. People love the mix up, so that's why people pick Kid Buu mid. He doesn't really excel at the other things, um, so I mean he does have mix up, so he does have two of the things, but uh, the assist is the primary thing for Kid Buu, and that's okay, that's not a bad thing. Again he's kind of like, is like, assist for mix up, like it's, it's like really like this like, this is it, you know? Uh, Beerus is actually my favorite mid character. I think Beerus is the character that I think about the most. Beerus and Piccolo, which is also on the list. So Beerus has mix up. Uh, he has a level 2, so you can spend a lot of meter. He has post level 3 mix, which admittedly I don't know how to do, so I won't show. And his assist is also good for mix ups as well. Piccolo, he has mix ups because he has a 2 0 low which is uh, always important, so he can enable Super Dash plus Assist mix-ups. He has good assist for the neutral game, which is the orbs. Super amazing, and then he can, like, meter dump like crazy. He can spend so much meter just doing Hell Zone combos and stuff like that. So he's a really, really good mid-character. I think one of the best mid-characters in the game as well, next to Beerus. Um, an important character to think about when picking characters. Base Goku is also one of my favorite characters uh, for the mid game because his assist is really good for combo extensions and he has solo mix up, he has a command grab, uh, one of my favorite things in the game and he also has a level 2 that gets really 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 good like his level 1, the extension when his uh, teammate dies is super good so he's like kind of like a unique mid where he needs the character to die to get the last one but even without that his like meter uh, usage with EX elbow is really really good so let's uh, take a quick look at these three characters. So funny enough, this team actually probably works really well. A team of all mids. Pretty cool. I wonder why that is. Anyways, Beerus, not going to go too in-depth about his mix-up. But long story short, this move is super plus and he can go high, he can go low. So he has really good solo mix and assist mix. He has a level 2, which is really, really good. This means that he is one of the few characters that can extend his damage output with another bar, and that does really good damage. Really, really good for DHCing, obviously. One of the, the better characters in that regard. And then he can also spend meter to get uh, new conversions, so off of 2H, he can spend that. And then he could, if he has assist, No, really really cash out that like is his go-to so he is a super sick character for that um, his assist is also really good so I only use his B assist but his B assist is like this dive that's super plus on hit pretty plus on block it's like plus 30 something 34 on block you can do super dash plus assist with it it's one of the nicer assists so if your character needs a blocks and assist for mix-up Barris is actually pretty good at it so he can check off a lot of options on the list. He's one of the good mid characters I really, really like. Uh, Piccolo assist, the orbs. Sends out one orb that goes flying. I actually didn't realize how fast the first orb flies at you. That's crazy. And the second orb uh, is behind you. This kind of like forces the opponent to want to pick an option. So he is a really good mid character because this assist can control the neutral game for the point character. Really, really strong. If you ever watch Hook Gang God play, he plays a uh, grappler point with this assist to really excel. Really, really, really good. Let's see if I can actually do a Piccolo combo. Oh, 
I have no idea how to do this combo, so I'm sorry. But uh, the fact that he can spend Hellzone and then extend his combos a little bit and then spend even more meter after that, um, I think is very valuable for a character to have. So Piccolo has a lot of value as a character that comes in um, after the point character dies because he can spend all the resources that he builds and the first character builds to kill characters. One of the best characters at doing that. I just said Beerus is one of the best. He's also one of the best. Base Goku Assist, really good for extending combos. You know, it, it gives you a lot of corner carries, really nice. On point, he has Mix Up. You know, he has a command grab. And then he has a really good level 2. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, the fact that he can do this um, really can increase your team's damage output by a lot. So, I really like base Goku mid as well. He is a character that benefits a lot from having a lot of resources. Can build resources too if you really need it and spend them in order to get advantage against the opponent. So I really like him for that. So those are mid characters. The last character role is the Anchor. This is the character that will usually play by themselves. And they'll usually have two of these options. This is the character that you want to ideally have last in hopes that they'll make a comeback against an opponent who has either a ginormous lead or just a small lead or if you're even this character is the character you want to win the game for you if things go poorly so it is highly advised that they have solo mix or strong neutral the anchor is usually the primary assist um, which is usually you know the beam assist like a Kamehameha uh, and high damage output so the two examples of this are Z Broly and SSJ Goku so SSJ Goku doesn't have mix but his damage output is absurdly high and he is your primary assist. So some players will opt to have the anchor not be a strong character by themselves um, as long as the character's utility for the team is really strong. SJ Goku is a character I still like to play because he is an amazing assist and he hits really really hard. And I would say that the most like extreme version of an anchor in this season is Z Broly. Solo mix up, really good neutral, high damage when he is by himself he is absolutely insane so we'll just show them real quick so the first character is broly when this character is by himself and he has limit break his mix up he has a command grabber is unreactable if he grabs you and he has enough meter command grab level three into command grab level three will kill you and chances are if he comes in lats and you were getting whooped he'll have the meter to do this and this is super busted. This is like an insane way to come back if you're down. If he even like lands a jab, even doing an easy combo, like that's no extension. Off a jab, that did 48%. And then a jab in the corner will kill. And then you die. Uh, his command grab into level 1 in the corner does way too much damage when he's anchored. That did 39%, basically 40%. That's insane. Mid screen, 34%, almost 35. Absolutely crazy. His neutral is crazy. His buttons are super big, can zone you out. He can do it all. So when you think of an anchor, you pretty much think of Z Broly. He is absolutely insane. SSJ Goku Anchor is a character that you don't really think about. Um, you know, mixing people. He is the character who will give you the beam assist that'll help your team uh, excel. But when he's by himself, his damage output is actually really, really high. He just has to hit you. If he 2Ms you, uh, you explode. Especially if you're in the corner. And if he has spark and someone super dashes at you, it's you, you can kiss your character's ass goodbye. His main issue, however, isn't his damage output. It's his ability to open somebody up. However, if they do get hit, every single hit will hurt. Because his damage output is already super high, but his damage output with limit break is busted. So those are all 2M starters, which is kind of 
you know, most ideal, but kind of hard to land. But even his normal BMBs. Can do a lot of damage so long as you spend the resources so yeah i really like him um but to be honest if i were to pick a character that's really good anchor z broly is like the go-to so those are the three roles characters play if you want to build your team around this specifically you can if you want to do what i did and i have like an interchangeable mid and anchor you can do that as well uh, people like to call that double anchors which is you know that's fine um, you can play a team of all mids, uh, which is also really good. Uh, all points is only if you're as good as Sonic Fox or something like that, or Goichi. I don't recommend it. But I hope this gives you perspective on building teams. Um, there is a little bit more to this. For example, I gave you uh, kind of like a little bit about like switching the orders um, via DHCs. There's a lot of things you have to think about doing that, but I'll save that for another time. Let me know what you think, uh, if there's something I missed. And yeah, I hope that this helps you figure out how to build your team so you can stop asking me, what do I think about your XYZ team? Catch you later.